Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Microsoft Excel users. In the previous two tutorials we've been looking at creating a workbook with multiple sheets and creating calculations that calculate by using values from other worksheets. In this tutorial we're going to look at creating a sum function that takes multiple values from other worksheets. So what we want to have is all the values in this rentals column take each value from week 1, 2, 3 and 4 and sum them up and so we have an overall total. And one way you can do that is to take the values from each worksheet individually. So if I press equals that will begin the calculation and I'm going to go to week 1, click on the rentals value there in C3, press plus on the keyboard, go to week 2, click on the same cell in week 2, plus again on the keyboard, go to the same cell in week 3, plus again on the keyboard and finally click on the same cell in week 4 and then just press the enter key to accept the whole thing. So if you look at the formula you'll see it's a bit long-winded and complicated in its appearance but all it does really is just take a value from each of the worksheets and adds them all together but that's just about okay with four worksheets but what if you had maybe 10 or 20? Do you really want to do it that way? Probably not. So is there an easier way of doing it? And the answer is there is. So we're going to create a nice easy way of summing values from multiple worksheets. The only uh, little snag is that the cell has to be in the same place on each worksheet. So in this case we're adding up cell C3 from each of the previous four worksheets. It wouldn't work if we had uh, cell C3 on one and D4 on another and F5 on another. It just doesn't work if they're on different places. So it, it only works if they're in the same location on each worksheet, which happily in this example they are. So what we're going to do is create a sum function, which you will be familiar with from previous tutorials, but this is slightly different. The first part is the same, so it's equal sum and open parentheses. But here I'm going to go to week one and just click on the week one tab, nothing else, and then I'm going to make a slight modification up here in the formula bar. I'm going to click at the end of the sheet reference, delete the exclamation mark and replace it with a colon. And Then I'm going to go to week four where my final value is and click on cell C3. Close that bracket so if you have a look at the formula now, we've got equal sum, open bracket, week one, colon, week four, then the exclamation mark to separate the week references from the worksheet, cell reference, and then finally we have C3 and obviously close the, uh, the bracket or the parentheses at the end. So in simple terms, you're telling Excel what worksheet to start at, what worksheet to end at, and the cell reference on each worksheet from the beginning to the end that you want summing up. So if I just click on the little tick to accept that, then we go to our summary worksheet and we can see there we have the result 35. So we'll do one more then. So it's equals sum, open the bracket, go to the first worksheet, obviously the worksheet name appears in the formula bar, I'm going to modify that, click at the end, delete the exclamation mark, replace with a colon, click on the last worksheet name and then select the cell reference where the value is that you want summing up across those worksheets. In this case it's C4. Close the bracket, press the enter key and there we have the result. Now of course I can just use Excel's relative cell referencing here to complete that column and I just put my mouse pointer over the bottom right of the cell and drag down and that will then fill in the remaining functions for me. And you can see how it automatically updates the row number as we go down there, as it does for all calculations. And as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, we can now see in this F2 cell here, even though it's only referring to D13, it is correct. And if we go back to week four, it matches the 84165 value there, even though it doesn't refer to the previous sheet. The important thing here is the values in the rentals column are taking all the appropriate information from the previous four sheets. So the result in D13 here is identical to the running total on week four. Hopefully that makes sense.
So hopefully I've shown you there that it's very straightforward. First of all, calculating from other worksheets, as we've seen on this F2 cell here in week four, to simply point and click on the value on the appropriate worksheet to include it. And when you're summing up across worksheets, it's as simple as creating a standard sum function and just watch out when you're selecting the sheet names that you only include one exclamation mark at the end and also obviously include the cell reference that you need to sum up. Now in the previous tutorial I showed you how you can modify a worksheet name and the calculation would still work and obviously modified the worksheet names so they didn't have a space in. Now what if I now modify this again to put the space back in? Will the calculations still work? So we're going to call that first one week one with a space. Press the enter key. If we go to week two we can see that it has worked and you'll see the apostrophes are now back into the sheet name because we have a space in it. Week three is okay, week four is okay. Well, it will be because we have we only refer to week one in sheet week two. And the summary sheet also works, as you can see, and it's updated the reference for the, for the worksheet range, and it's put an apostrophe at the beginning and at the end. And again, that's simply because we have a space in the sheet name. If I go back to that first worksheet, delete the space again, and go back to the summary, have a look at the formula bar, the apostrophes have now disappeared. Again, it's just a, my recommendation will be to avoid spaces in sheet names where possible. It just simplifies the creation of formulas. Okay, so that concludes this look at using multiple worksheets and hopefully you've seen as I go back through those worksheets, you can see how it's a great way of organizing your work. And in the next tutorial, we'll look at using multiple workbooks. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope you found something there that was useful and see you next time.